Now we quickly go on to um, the story of um, John Kumas passing. May his soul rest in peace. My husband didn't die from food poisoning. He battled a terminal disease. That is Lillian Kuma, the wife of late John Kuma. And I read, the widow of John Kuma, the late deputy finance minister and new patriotic party member of parliament for Ejiso in the Ashanti region, has emphatically stated that her husband did not die from food poisoning, contrary to circulating reports and sections of mainstream media and social media. Instead, she clarified that her courageously, sorry, he courageously battled a severe illness for over a year. Speaking in an interview with Assassin News, Apostle Lillian Kuma said he, her late husband had been battling with a terminal disease for nearly a year now since it was discovered by his doctors in Germany. And that, and that is what her husband succumbed to on Thursday, 7th March 2024, and not food poisoning. Stop the circulation. In a very sobering and grieving voice, Apostle Mrs. Lillian Kuma who is also the general overseer of Disciples of Christ Ministries, asked all those speculating about the cause of the death of her husband to put a stop to it because it is exacerbating the pain of her immediate family and the larger Kuma family. She also called for swift police action against known persons such as Bless God's Brain Smart, that is Captain Smart, popularly known, who has publicly stated that her late husband was poisoned but has not been made to provide any evidence to prove the wild claim he has made about the death of John Kuma. I quote, why is it that someone referring to Captain Smart has been this bold to claim that he knows for a fact that a person like John Kuma has, who has served his country virtually all his life was poisoned while he was working for his country and party why should we sit down and not bring that person to book? If it is true that a person who is not dead but alive claims that he knows how my husband, John Kuma, died and that he was poisoned and that person is still moving around for the past three weeks, it hurts me, it saddens me, and I do not know how best to express my frustrations about these false claims by Captain Smart. Apostle Lillian Kuma said, and it goes on and on, you can go on to... Um, City Newsroom to get the full details of the story over there. Now, let's get into the details. Yes, um, the demise of uh, Honorable John Kuma is a very sad incident. I, I knew him personally, and so, I mean, I was quite dumbfounded. I've also known that since uh, last year he has not been well after a particular incident mm. that happened. And since that incident, he had not been well and he had been in and out receiving treatment. Mm. And so, I mean, but even that, his death was still a shock. It mm. came at, 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 at a serious shock to all of us. I would plead with a wife mm. to shut up yeah. and mourn her husband. And in fact, as we speak, John Kuma's um, wife is on oh, Asasi. Shut up. Yes. John Kuma's wife. For lack of a better word, is that what you want to use? English yes. Means you have to she should keep quiet. quiet. I think it's a very good uh, uh, nursery. As we speak. <laughs> A very good one. A, a, a ring nursery. You know that one. You know, as we speak, no. right. John Kuma's <laughs> wife is on Asasi Radio granting an interview. interview. Claiming that her husband was not poisoned. But is that what your focus should be as a widower? Mm. Sorry, as a widow, yeah. sorry. As a widow at this particular moment. Your husband has passed in less than a week. Mm. In Ashanti culture, mm. you can't even come out. In a traditional culture, when you, when you lose your husband, you can't even come out for, for a certain amount of time. Mm. You're supposed to be in the room and mourn. Mm. Whatever people are claiming killed or didn't kill your husband, it's not, it's not up to you. That is why there's a, there are professionals who do an autopsy, and, and that is none of we, us, mm. our business. 
People can claim whatever they want to claim, but focus on mourning your husband. Hmm. And for me, I want to condemn Asase Radio for even, even doing this interview with this woman. Hmm. For putting the woman on air at, at this crucial moment, when we know, even psychologically, She's the woman right. may not be okay. What purpose do they want to achieve? That at this critical moment that a woman has lost her husband, and you won't give the family some privacy to mourn their loss, you are interested in clarifying a certain narrative in the media. But if you want to clarify that narrative, that is not a route. John Kuma's wife is not a doctor. Mm. If you want to prove that John Kuma was not poisoned, do, they are do, laid down they are procedures. procedures. It is not me, Mensah Thompson, who came to claim that John Kuma was poisoned. It is people close to him within your own party, mm. including, the, including your own Ashanti regional chairman, mm. who claim he, he was poisoned together. That is Chairman Woon to me. Chairman Woon to me. That they were poisoned together. You saw the statement he released? Mm. Is that Mensah Thompson? Mm. So, if those allegations are false, go through the processes to, to set the, the narrative right, but don't spit in the face of our Ghanaian culture. Don't spit in the face of the Ghanaian culture to put a widow on air. And I hope, I sincerely hope, that they are not prepping this woman to contest the by-election in a GISO. I will mount a one-man demonstration against this woman. Mm. Why? If she attempts or anybody preps her up to contest the seat, we won't be pushed into an era where women MPs die and their, yeah, and their wives know they have just, been, yes. their wives just go and contest the seat we need to protect the lives of the MPs so that their wives don't start killing them hmm. if we want to give women a chance women should rise up through the chance not by the death of their husbands hmm. now we know echo echo um, echo Kwanza. Infantimam, um, it's not the first MP. we've seen that in the eastern in the region we've seen that in central yes. region and 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 i sincerely hope that if this woman has any out of sympathy for her loss, she should reject any attempt. But if the party calls on her, she should reject it on principle mm. that the loss of her husband is so grave she cannot compromise on that. Mm. Because the by election should happen according to the constitution, it happen in, 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 less than, in, in, in less than two months. There will be two by elections actually yes. if it so happens because he, he was, um, uh, he was also um, the MPP parliamentary candidate. And he was also a certain MP. Yes, so, so, so I'm saying that if a by-election must happen, it must happen within the next two months, according to the Constitution. And within two months, do you think that a widow would have mourned her husband enough to go and stand on a campaign platform to campaign? Mm -hmm. mm. And so I, I condemn, as I said, radio for this reckless interview for putting this woman on air. Mm. I condemn the woman for, for accepting the invitation to be on air to talk about this issue at this critical moment when she should be busy mourning her husband. Mm. I condemn her for spitting in the face of the Ghanaian culture. Mm. Right. John was an affable young man. His loss is indeed painful to all of us. For a young person to rise to the level he rose to, he deserves some respect. His demise deserves some respect. Allow mm. people to say whatever they want. When Prof. Samuels died, there were all manner of allegations in right. the air. You understand? Right. His wife didn't go on radio to go and, and, and say anything. What mm. is this? Mm. Let's respect. Let's respect the legacy of, of the young man who fought for his country, who served his country, and today is not here with us. Right. Um, let me come to you, Mr. Kabute. It's actually, like, I, I once again say, it's a, a sad device of a young, vibrant politician like Mensa rightly said there's a young man you know we've had you know exchanges discussions and meetings you know a very recent one was at Alisa and you know you just called me comrade comrade because you know from Nook's times we've been together 
I think at this point we should hold on to the uh, poison and other discussions. You know, the commentary should should to halt a bit. No autopsy report has been, you know, carried out. So no one must jump the gun and come out and tell us, you know. But if somebody has any information, you can uh, provide that one for the police. The police must call or invite persons who are speaking on these issues to come and assist in investigations. They usually invite you, you know. And then the aspect of calling for person to be called to book, um, that side, that side. Because um, I, I think I'll advise the, 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 the widow as a friend, I mean, as a, as a brother, as a community member, you know, um, I think she should actually hold on to that one rather than calling the, 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 the verbal missiles to her doorstep. Mm -hmm. Because um, yesterday, yesterday has every cast of winds on today. We'll be guided, we'll not be directed by the past, but we'll be guided by the past. If yesterday I went with you to the bar and then you drank 10 bottles of beer and you slapped hey. me, okay? If you start drinking, by the second bottle I'll leave right. because I won't wait for the slap. So every day yesterday must guide us. We were in this country when her husband also made some utterances, you know, against a certain president. And you know, because of love, for humanity, mm -hmm. respect, and then are allowing people to err and correcting them. The president said, allow the young man to be. Some of us who were, you know, youthful, and, you know, we called him and we had a discussion. So let us all sober down. It's a bad time. But moving forward, let us return to our cultural values and respect the dead. Mm. Once a person passed, I mean, some few weeks. Look, the town foes can gossip, okay? But they must do that not in public, mm. not on radio, you know, but in silence, we can do that. The family can also, you know, grant information. Usually they'll tell you uh, the person went mm. on this and then, mm. you know, and it happened that he slept on the left-hand side, you know. Mm. We even have ways of saying it, yeah. English and both local language. They say, oh, we're done in the first one, uh, mm. oh, uh, he's kicked the bucket, mm. you know, so the bank comes and all those things. So let's, let's be very, very, very... A, 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 a circumspect, but then also be very, very sensitive on the feelings of the family. And then let's go back to the political parties. Yeah. This is not a time to, you know, jump into, you know, some banter. It, it, it won't help us. But I'm really, I'm bemused, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. I'm perplexed at the, the behavior of the wife at this moment. Right. I'm oh. begging her. Mm -hmm. It is a not, not, not. Mm -hmm. To jump to the radio station, you know, I would even, I would not even take it if um, a family member did that. Is it that she's trying to save the name of her late husband? No, How do you save no. It, 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 it's out of some pain. Mm. And you can understand it. I understand, but I don't support it. Right. I understand why a girl is standing in a circle engaging in prostitution. Yeah. But I don't support it. Exactly. So likewise, I understand her pain. Pain can let you be. So, I mean, she, there should be a psychologist jumping in now. Mm. She's angry. She's mm. in pain. So... You know, so a family member holding her down. To, so, to somebody must her hold down. her down because yeah. at this time it's not a time to go to the media. Right. And then the, the next one, the person should, some people who have information should volunteer some information to the police right. if they want to help. But if they, they are not forthcoming, the police should also invite them for a discussion. Mm. I mean, um, I mean, if you have anything, you can bring it to what police. What are your claims just of to poison? Aid, yeah. you know, the processes, especially when some you know leading figure in their party. Is purported to have also gone through the same. Hey, let me let me let me come in. Um, leading to proportions, right. I would like to read um, what uh, Chamawunta me statement is. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so I am devastated. This is from citynewsroom.com. dot com. And uh, Leticia Osei has the story. I'm devastated by John Kuma's passing. His loss is irreplaceable. Chairman wound to me. The Ashanti Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Bernard Ntribosiakon, popularly known as Chairman Wuntumi, has expressed profound grief over the death of Deputy Finance Minister Dr. John Ampontia Kuma. Dr. Kuma, a 45-year-old MP for Ejiso and the Ashanti region, passed away on Thursday, March 7, following a short illness, according to family sources. Chairman Wuntumi, in a statement, shared his fond memories of Dr. Kuma who was there for him in a critical time of need, referring to his passing as a shock. 
he expresses devastation upon leaning sorry upon learning about Jen Kuma's John Kuma's death whom he referred to as his good friend and brother the Ashanti regional chairman of the new patriotic party mourned the loss of his friend emphasizing the irreplaceable nature of his loss I'm quoting him my good friend and brother John Kuma my heart is heavy my eyes are full of tears I am devastated and distraught I have I have lost a loyal friend and faithful brother whose loss is simply irreplaceable, not only to me, but to the region. Now below is the statement by Chairman Woon to me. Chairman Woon to me mourns his brother and friend, lawyer Dr. John Kuma. My good friend and brother John Kuma, my heart is heavy, my eyes are full of tears, I am devastated and distraught. I have been struggling to find the appropriate words to describe how I feel right now because I know how and who you are. I know how you would have reacted if I were in your position. It is a mixed feeling of disbelief and shock, and this unfortunate news takes me back to some few months ago. I remember how you stood by my side and ensured that I survived at the time that I was helplessly dying. Little did I know that I was going to survive only for me to be confronted with the devastating news of your passing months later. I have lost a loyal friend and faithful brother whose loss is simply irreplaceable, not only to me, but to the region as well. Rest well, my brother. We will surely meet in heaven one day. Your brother and friend, Chema to me. So there's no sentence or writing in his statement that he said he was also poisoned. Right. So, so there was actually a video, and that's why I'm saying the police should invite persons, mm -hmm. of a gentleman who claimed he was at the Temale a, a, a hotel mm. that, that with you know chairman and he was narrating verbatimly mm. how even even mm. in, informing the public about the the, the the person the doctor who came to mm. the rescue of the, the uh, chairman Wun to me being a, a part of the vice president's you know team mm. you know so it goes far that's what i'm saying with such public videos the invitation should come for persons to volunteer the information right. and the police must be interested right. because this will go far to help all of us right. and then an autopsy should be carried out not for public consumption mm. but for the wife i'm sure so in this should station, be at peace should be at peace and for the immediate family yep. members so that they can you know be at peace and understand things very well and then the rumors can also die down you know it could be left or it could be right but i'll stand in the middle Right. Yeah, the person has a de terminal disease. Does not stop anybody else to, from also carrying out a dangerous, you know, act against the person. And when the final outcomes are laid on the table, we all must learn something from it. You know, I mean, I think moving forward, let us all notice something. Let's consider the feelings of people. Mm. Let's love one another. In San, in, I mean, when we were all Ghanaians, as I put it, I'm not saying we are no more Ghanaians. But yesterday, when we were all Ghanaians, worse can happen, but... We found a way of, you know, some of these gossips must go on. And then the uh, intelligence forces must also do their work. But publicly discussing, you know, some of these issues without touching back to, to listen to ourselves, what are we are saying, insensitiveness can mm. be the, the word. But look, let's note one thing. At this time, speak also, like our traditions will also allow us, the good sides of a man. Look, we are all pencils in the hands of God. Yes. Our maker decides, mm -hmm. you know. So let's all pray that we have the opportunity to contribute to the building of Ghana. And when we depart, like great men, when we depart in the sands of time, we should be remembered. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for your bit, your two cents.